We actually, I'm actually pretty close to tears right now if I'm being honest, but... And you know what I've always realised is that everything we've been through over the years, it's always just us, eh? Can't end this uh, vlog, bud, without giving you a hug. Love you, bud. Love you too, bud. shaky hand today so we're going to go off to Buckingham Spout for a bit of filming we can vlog along the way and it's going to be a hot one I think yeah yeah so dogs are at home because it's just not fair on them but uh, Buckingham Spout is an amazing waterfall get a wee bit of a scene um, and from now on we're vlogging um, Vlog. so we're basically taking you behind the scenes on all the vlogs and you get a sort of uh, us our realness and then we will complement that with the more cinematic videos afterwards yeah so we're going to get a bit of filming done today and then uh, we're going to add more to this as well. I mean, what have you been up to this weekend, everybody? Um, I have been actually doing a bit of training. Obviously, we've got a calendar yeah, yeah. Uh, that we need to do a photo shoot for, so I'm doing a bit, a, bit, a bit of training. And it's just been so hot, I've been in my paddling pool. In fact, I meditated in my paddling pool. So I nearly made a boo-boo. Um, I'm meditating in a paddling pool right now. <laughs> and I thought, actually, once I'd finished meditating, I was like, ah, this would be perfect for the vlog so I went and got my camera and I was about to start setting up the tripod to then pretend to meditate just for the camera <laughs> so I'm like in the spirit of being more authentic we're going to sh showcase more of what we're doing on our day-to-day -day lives and um, you know in our own training our own coaching because we're, we're going through our own journey <laughs> and I nearly set the camera up and acted like I was meditating but here is the, the part of the vlog, um, the, the more authentic part that I'm at. Literally, I'm just sitting in a paddling pool. Um, I'm home alone at the moment, apart from Tilly Pups. She's staying nice and cool. She's a sensible one. She's staying nice and cool in the shade. Well, I've just been training as well. Um, doing a bit of cardio, working hard again, just trying to trim down. So I think I'm 20 pounds lighter than I was eight weeks ago. Still probably got five to go for the calendar. So we've got, we've said 27th of August, so we've got five weeks, I think. Five weeks, yeah. Yeah, yeah, about five weeks yeah, before we do the photo shoot. Of course, we're going to share all the photos with you. And we will do a behind the scenes for, uh, for the photo shoot as well. Okay. Yeah, all right. So, enjoy. So this is when we're setting up the camera to look at like we're jumping out of the car to make it all cinematic. This is the stuff that we hate, basically. Yeah. But it was to, make, to make a... Kelly Coach's video, we've got to then make it look natural, so it's fake to make it look natural. Go figure. In the right angle here, buddy. Right, so the idea is, and we're good to go. So now we press record. Let's go, go, go. Now we're gonna, it's him jumping in for us to, you're gonna reverse back here. And we just hope that nobody steals the camera in the meantime. Or that I knock it over. We get out possible. We get out the shot. And then we go into shot. Okay, this is all very, very natural. But then we've got to get out the car as well. Plus you can switch you off and we jump in the car. It's actually been quite a few years since we've been to Buckingham Tea Spout, right? Yeah, when was the last time we were here? I was trying to think that because, well, it was before the lockdown, so it was before 2020. Yeah. Oh, remember we came up and did the other side when we filmed some of the Everlean stuff? So we'll take you down and show you a bit of Buckingham Tea Spout. Um, should be plenty of rocks. Couldn't really bring the dogs, it'd be dangerous. Yeah, it's, pretty, it's a pretty impressive waterfall and um, the dogs like the water. Nala especially loves chasing stuff. Yeah, yeah. So, um... Set the camera up, because there's an awesome old rustic log there. And um, it's going to make awesome footage for our cinematic video. <laughs> So 
we've just established we used to come down to this bit, or we've come down before, but I think we went over the bridge and down the other side, didn't we? In order to do a proper lesson to the camera, we kept don't really want the noisy in water, mm. so across the other side of the bridge it then gets calm and we can do a nice peaceful lesson. Yeah, it's kind of like an arboretum. An arboretum. An arbor that's a fancy word for you today. Mm. It's an arboretum. It's like a it's like a tree flowery walk garden thing. An arboretum, I think, am I right? You know, you, people set up an arboretum, it's like a wild place with flowers and lovely trees grow. It's a peaceful place to go walk and contemplate your life. Pretty much. So we've settled down where it's quieter, further down, it's very, very peaceful here. It's lovely. And um, I think it's worth mentioning at this point that we briefly mentioned it in the coffee shop. But we're both on our journeys, um, as, as is every single human being. And as soon as you believe that you're not on a journey, you're not working on yourself and that you are the finished product, is the very moment that you are not. It's the moment you've failed because we should all be constantly learning and we are exactly the same. Yeah, so we're on a bit of a journey again. I personally want to find my smile again. I want to find that inner happiness that I used to, I used to bounce around. And you know, the last couple of years, it's been draining the whole, I think everybody in the world has struggled the last couple of years and we were not immune to that either. Yeah, uh, for, for me, um, what I realized is a lot of the times my smile was inauthentic and my laughter was inauthentic. And you know, my business partner, my, my <laughs> amazing friend here is mostly full of joy. And sometimes I, uh, again, I'm quite uh, empathic, I guess. I feed off other people's energy. If somebody's down, I get down. If somebody's up, I get up. And there's sometimes that, that rab would you know, bring the energy and I would go along with it, but it's really not my authentic self. And therefore I'm on a bit of a, a journey of self-discovery and really encompassing what I am uh, deep down and, and really bringing that side of me out. And it's funny because we, we laugh that rab's the, uh, the geek and I'm the hippie. And it's affectionately what we call ourselves, the hippie and the geek. And um, there, there's a, I think there's a part of that that, you know, I've been sort of hesitant to bring out, that, that sort of happiness. Um, and I thought, do you know what? Feck it, he's coming out whether you like it or not. <laughs> Just embrace it. We actually, I'm actually pretty close to tears right now if I'm being honest, but we had a bit of a, a fallout recently because we've been under so much stress and not being ourselves. Not a fallout as such, we just, it just got too much and we weren't coping. And you know what I've always realised is that everything we've been through over the years, it's always just us, eh? There's so many things that come and go and the thing that's always left is us. It always is. Uh, through everything, buddy. Mm -hmm. for, for years now, it's always it's always us. We just keep ploughing on. We've always got each other. I think it was a while back, there was a joke, and it was... No, it wasn't a joke. You commented to someone about saying about your best buddy. You were talking about somebody else. I can't remember what it was. And I was like, what about, what about me? And you're like, well, you're like my brother now. And it's... You know, ever since you said that, I was like... Yeah. Because we, we're, we're just like that with each other, you know? And... We, we, had, we had a bit of a, um, a disagreement. We had a disagreement recently. And um, it was probably the most serious disagreement that we've had. And we're both coming from diff slightly different angles, not seeing eye to eye. And um, essentially, what got us through it was that love that we've, that we've got for each other. You know, it's understanding that you're going through some shit, I'm going through some shit. And, and this is a message to anybody out there, you know, you've got to be true to yourself. You know, and the, the minute you're not true to yourself is the minute you'll look back in, in months to come and you go, shit, I, I wasn't myself. I wasn't being true to, to who I am. Um, and and this, this is why I can call you my brother. Because, yeah, you know, right. we, go, we go through some shit like that and we, we'll come out stronger on the other end. So this is going to be our journey. Uh, find ourselves again. Not ourselves, we're fine. <laughs> we're <laughs> yeah. always fine. That's the, that's the point we're making here. But our individual selves... Um, you know, just being our true authentic selves, not putting anything on for the cameras. The thing is, like, 99.9% .9 of the time in the past, I actually have been my true authentic self on camera. I was always bouncy. I like projecting bounciness. But I'm not going to lie, there's a bit of a real... There's always been a bit of a sadness in my life, and I don't know why, and I need to get to the bottom of that. That's one of the reasons why I always teach happiness things, because you always kind of focus on the things that you're not, you know, and you specialise in them, yeah. and you try and help others, because as coaches, and we spend our energy helping other people, we, we give a lot out, but we get something in return when that happens, and sometimes when you've got things you're dealing with, rather than dealing with your own stuff, you... you 
you try and help others and you get a bit of validation, a bit of kind of, you feel like a someone because you were able to help someone. And I think what we need to do now is help ourselves a little bit. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Um, I do I do a few um, personal development retreats. I do them a couple of times per year. And uh, there was one that I went on and you really sort of delve deep into your own soul. And a big part of um, that came out for me was, was exactly what Rab said there, was validation. And a lot of my actions were for validation. And it's, it's that kind of, holy shit, I didn't realise that, you know, you look back at some of the early Kelly Coaches videos and, you know, we're, we're taking our tops off and doing slow-mos and that's fun and it's fine now and again, but it got a bit too much. But you, but you relish in it because, you know, you look at the comments and you go, ah, oh, look, some, somebody likes that I've got abs, oh, that's, that's great, and that, that internal validation. And it's not just on social media, there's a lot of my actions in life that were all based on that little bit of validation. People, I want to be liked, I want to be wanted, I want to be needed. Um, and that is now going to stop. It's going to stop. Um, it's, it's, it's not fair on me, it's not fair on the people around me um, to, to be inauthentic. So from now on, uh, that happy side of me, uh, and if I say happy, I mean, uh, that's a, a bit of a fun word for essentially what I mean by love and compassion and connection and that the fact that we are all connected. And this is why I do have a passion for helping people like, like you watching right now. I do have that passion. I feel like we've, we've, when you've got energy and somebody doesn't have energy, you want to give it to them because we all, we all rise together. There's, there's a quote that I love and it's a rising tide lifts all ships. And for, whenever... If, if Rab, you go on a, a, a bit of a journey yourself, you find your smile again, you find that part of you that, that, that's, that's a little bit sad inside, and if I do exactly the same, then your, your development helps me. My development helps you. That's what we're doing. Our development helps you. Um, so when you're watching this, if you're thinking, I'm ready to do some personal development, I wanna kinda get into to myself, my soul, remember that your development will help every single person that you, um, you come into contact with on a day-to-day -day basis. So follow, that's what the vlogs are going to be. We're just going to be us being real. Uh, you either enjoy them or if you don't. We'll have our cinematic videos as, as we always do. That might be more up your street and that's completely okay. Is that fish? It's yeah, it's fish jumping up for the for the insects. It's yeah. quite nice, quite oh, pleasant. Yeah. Um, but yeah, we're going to do this for a while. Oh, we might just keep it going. If they're popular enough, keep them going. And remember, if they are popular, like, comment, share, subscribe, you know the drill. Yeah, yeah, always. Now listen, um, we, we know that these videos are probably not going to get as many views and clicks and shares uh, as the other ones, and that's okay, um, because we, we're here, we're, we're, we're coaches, and we can help people more when you know who we really are, because then it helps you open up a little bit more. So our members watching right now, this is us. Th this, is, this is who we are. We're on our journey as well, and we're not ashamed to admit it. Um, and when you know that we're on our journey, we know what it takes to delve in deep and realize, I mean, obviously our main thing is weight loss. Weight loss is not just about doing some more exercise and learning about nutrition. It's bearing your soul as, as to why you've got the weight in the first place. Why you're storing excess body fat, and it's not because you don't know how to do squats and you don't know how to eat a salad. It's not about that. It's about understanding your mind and understanding your heart. And, and that's, that goes for us as well. And just a shout out to all our members. We love you. Yeah, we do love you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We, we look Making forward awesome. in our mentorship we, we coach three times a week and everybody goes I mean wow some of the struggles just eclipse anything I mean a struggle is individual to the person but some of the things we hear people going through you just think wow they just keep plodding on given everything that's going on and it's, it's admirable so if, if that's you if you've ever been going through something but you keep plodding on then give yourself a pat on the back can't end this uh, vlog bud without giving you a hug Love you, bud. Love you too, bud. We love you too.